number of homes listed for sale shows confidence in the market um, and that um, at the moment price stability is quite good for buyers and sellers which is kind of cool. Kia ora everyone, it's Chris and Eos here from the Bailey's Insights team. This is your latest weekly news for New Zealand real estate. So Eos, how are you today? I'm good, thanks. Yeah, how are you? yeah pretty good, eh? pretty good. So um, mate, do you want to kick us off with number one? Yeah, sure. So the first news is from realestate.co.nz about the latest data of homes. So in total, we've got 30,000 homes for sale as of the end of September. Yep. Uh, it is 27% higher than the same time last year. Yep. And it is also the highest level for a uh, Decades. Interesting, eh? Mm. So, um, yeah, it shows that, that um, I guess, that stock on market is still running quite high. Yeah, right. Yeah, the um, interesting thing on that real estate.co um, blog is they talked about how a um, number of homes listed for sale shows confidence in the market um, and that um, at the moment price stability is quite good mm. for buyers and sellers, which is kind of cool. Yeah, sweet. Um, on my side of things, so um, on the kind of commercial side, we had the government, they announced a couple of changes to the building consent processes. So the two changes were they are progressing more use of remote building inspections. So um, at the moment, if you're building, the council often needs to come out to like physically to site, which can um, introduce some delays. So they're promoting more use of remote inspections. Mm -hmm. And then the other thing is they're streamlining their process to make minor changes to um, like the design or substitute materials without necessarily needing to change the building consent. It should make things a bit faster and cheaper to build. Um, next up, right, so we've got our sales snapshot. So um, Eos, what's our theme this week? So our theme this week is industrial auctions. Yeah, cool. So I'm getting into the industrial property. Yeah. And um, mate, do you want to kick us off with one in Auckland? Yeah, sure. So the first one in Auckland is 898 Great South Road in Penrose, Auckland. Huge profile on Great South Road corner, 1,168 square meter on a 1,468 square meter site. Heavy industrial zone. Marketing by James Valentine, Sonia Bana and Jordan Brown from Bailey's Commercial sold under the hammer for 3810 equivalent to 3260 per square meter on floor area. Yeah, it's cool. And then um, for me, so I'm down in Hamilton, right? I've got 13 Sheffield Street in Terrapa. Industrial investment you've been waiting for, 766 square meters on a 1,200 square meter site, returning 100,000 per annum, tilt slab construction, prime location in Terrapa. This was marketed by Jordan Metcalf, Rebecca Bruce from Bailey's Commercial, sold under the hammer for 2.045 million which converts to 2,670 per square metre on floor area, or a 4.89% yield, which is actually um, really, really good. So yep. good little results there. And um, those were through the total property uh, commercial campaigns as well. Um, next up, so a um, little bit of international news. So um, I'll jump on this one this week. So we had the economists talking about how the new housing cycle is just getting started around the world. And so um, their article was entitled, The House Price Super Cycle is Just Getting Going. Um, interestingly, in the article, they singled out New Zealand alongside Germany and Sweden as having the biggest corrections mm. um, sort of from the post-pandemic peaks during the latest correction. Um, but then they argued that house price growth will continue because of three sort of core reasons around the um, developed world and that strong population growth because of migration into first world countries, mm. um, continued employment growth in major cities, and then problems with housing supply in most big cities. So um, yeah, just an interesting one, I guess, um, that shows that worldwide we're starting to see the markets kind of kick into that next cycle. Right. Yeah, and then finally, um, to wrap up, right, we've got the property of the week. So um, Eos, do you want to kick us off with um, one in Auckland? Yeah, sure. So my property of the week is for Austerley Way in Manuka Central, Auckland. Um, prime investment, 100% leased to the government, located in the heart of Manuka City, fully leased to Tier Fatoora House, New Zealand. Uh, returning 1.3 million per annum. Contact Ian Ho, Tommy Zhang, or Jason Simo from Bailey's Commercial. Yeah, it's a cool property. And then um, for me, I'm down in Wellington, right? I've got 18, the Strand, Wainui Amata. So finger looking good investment. 270 square meters on a 2,150 square meter site. A new 10 year net lease to KFC. New build 2024, net income 163,000. If you want to learn more about this one, contact Oliver Hurrigan, Ethan Hurrigan from Bailey's Commercial. Well, that's it. We'll wrap it up here. So um, thanks very much, Eos. Thanks. Yeah, sweet. And um, we'll see you next time. See ya.